Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure to be with you here tonight. How does it feel to be among these Brits to watch in the honorees? It's very exciting, yeah. I'm in good company. I'm a big fan of a lot of the people uh, that I'm in the, in the group with tonight. So yeah, it's lovely. It's wonderful. And what can you tell us about the roles you have upcoming and, 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 and what the experience is like I've been working on those projects? Yeah, so the next thing to come out is The Little Mermaid, which I'm very excited about. It's been quite a long journey with it. I was cast back in, it was November 2019, so it's been a couple of years. Um, so I'm excited, or oh, more than that, three years almost. And so yeah, it's it's exciting that it's finally seeing the light of day and, and I've seen little bits and, and clips and yeah, I'm proud of it. So I'm excited for the world to see it. I mean, um, there's, there's always kind of hotly debated, you know, these live action remakes. Um, what's it like being a part of that? Is there a, quite a lot of pressure or is it just pure excitement to be a part of it? Excitement, pressure, all of the above. I think um, people quite rightly uh, have a lot of love and care for those originals. And I think it's really important to make sure that we... Um, we deal with that by, by doing like authentic adaptations of them and, and trying to bring as much of the original to, to, to this one, but I think also breathe new life into it and like bring our own creative spin. Um, so yeah, I feel, I'm excited. There's some nerves because I know it's a big responsibility, but I think, uh, yeah, I think Rob Marshall, our director, has done a fantastic job. And in what ways do you think that it is really close to the original? In what ways do you think it is quite different? What can people expect? I think a lot of the heart and the soul and the humour and the music, crucially, the music, that's all there. Um, I think all of those characters that people fell in love with originally will still be there um, with a couple of new ones and some slight, I guess, evolution of, of certain characters and, and relationships within the film. But I think, for me, I fell in love with the film back in... I mean, it came out before I was born, but so I really properly grew up with it and everything I fell in love with it... Um, Everything's in there, so I hope people agree. <laughs> and other things that you've worked on before now, what have been some of the highlights for you? I think the first time I was in the West End was really, really exciting. I did a show with Kenneth Branagh, who played his son, at the Garrick Theatre just down the road from here, and that was one of the first times I felt like a proper actor. It just felt really exciting to be on stage in that context and um, grew up you know, not far from here and, and going to the theatre and, and being part of that was just a bit of a bucket list moment. Yeah. And just obviously, you know, focusing on British talent with the honours, honorees tonight. What do you, how do you see the landscape right now for British film, British cinema? It just feels like it's a really exciting time to be in the business. Yeah, we've never been better placed. I think it's so exciting. There's so much talent here in front of camera, behind camera. I think people all over the world are recognising that, and they're all they're all coming over here to to, to tap into that talent. And so long may it continue. Thanks, and really enjoy the evening. Thanks so much. Thanks Cheers.